For today's top stories and more, let's bring in my panel, Sky News host Liz Storer and Sky News contributor Joe Hildebrand. Hi to both Hi, of you. Hi, Rebecca. Thank how you. are you? Anything happened today? Anything else? Sorry, what I just, <laughs> just got off a plane. <laughs> what have we been? Biden's still one. okay, isn't he? It's been a pretty <laughs> quiet one. Just, just, casual, just a casual, uh, quiet one. Well, day. look, let's start with Joe Biden's pick for the top job at Kamala Harris. Imagine four years of this. <laughs> Oh, look, there's more. I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. Oh, we could have an exciting four <laughs> uh, years oh ahead if this all goes to plan. Joe, how do you see this playing out now with the Democrats? It's really interesting. The um, After Kamala was endorsed by Joe Biden, indeed, Joe Biden was said he was um, stepping Was it out. Joe Biden? We, we don't, we, <laughs> no right. one's seen the guy. Nobody's after, seen the guy. After Kamala Harris was endorsed by artificial intelligence. <laughs> um, no, it's, uh, it's interesting. The polls tightened a yes. bit. Yes. But... Trump's, uh, on the aggregate, Trump actually went up. Mm. So Trump actually, like, more people thought, oh, well, I'm going to Trump now. So Kamala obviously picked up um, people who weren't going to come out and vote for Joe Biden a tiny percent. I mean, mm. I mean, Trump is still ahead. Mm. Um, but it actually sort of solidified a couple of people, drove a couple of people towards Donald Trump. And I think that's because Kamala Harris represents everything that Donald Trump uh, and the people who vote for Donald Trump uh, are starting to be sort of repulsed by in the modern left, in the Democratic Party, that is sort of West Coast and East Coast elites, um, identity politics dominating economic need and economic concerns. Mm -hmm. and, and and Kamala Harris is just the perfect embodiment of that. And a, a somewhat nauseating sort of little cartoon videos <laughs> about e way. equity versus equality and this sort of weird sort of quasi neo-Marxist stuff. The ID politics yeah. is obviously there. I mean, uh, the Democrats don't need black voters. They don't no. need women voters. So in terms of a sort yes. of um, symbolic kind of, you know, rah-rah mm. to that demographic, only 40% uh, of women are voting for Donald Trump anyway. Mm. So um, they've already got 60% uh, of women. That's so, a fair point. So, yeah. so what, what, what do they achieve by this? If they had have got someone ironically like J.D. Vance, they might have eaten into Trump's vote. But I just don't see... If you're voting for Donald Trump, yeah. you are going to wade through boiling hot lava to vote you're for him. You're going to keep going. And it, that's right, and they're yeah. going to vote for him. And again, yeah. and then you've got RFK splitting the vote that which, way. Which will be interesting.